Hey guys, my name is Nayeli, and today I'm going to be talking about like um, what I believe is one of the reasons why I had such a really nice and easy labor with no medical intervention, no epidural, and none of that hospital stuff. Um, and I really, in my heart, I really do believe it was due to this magical herb. This is red raspberry leaf, and it is organic from Starbucks Botanicals, and pretty much this Oh, it smells so good and it looks like this and it's very fluffy and it's kind of furry too um the furriness in herbs um, means it's actually really good in scrubbing out the lungs and it helps to push lung stuff out but one of the main things that um, red raspberry leaf is very well known for is for its um its use for women's reproductive health and it's actually been used for many, 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 many years before allopathic even ex before allopathic medicine even existed. Was red raspberry leaf um, to help to tone the uterus and to help any type of woman's reproductive issues or problems that um, a woman may come across. Um, so what I did with this tea. So I'll tell you my experience with it and what I did and how I did it. Um, so pretty much the first trimester, I didn't. I did it every single day and I probably just did like a, like a little pinch of it um, into a cup of water and I did that twice a day morning and night um, second trimester I got really really lazy and I just stopped completely and then the first month of my third trimester I didn't do it and then we went over red raspberry leaf tea in class and then my teacher was like are you drinking red raspberry leaf tea and I'm like yeah <laughs> but then i was like nah like i got really inconsistent with it and i didn't do it i haven't done it since my first trimester and then she's like okay i had eight weeks left and she's like what you're gonna do you're gonna grab a big old handful like this literally right and you're gonna throw it in a pot of water and um i let that simmer for about 30 minutes um 30 minutes to an hour depending on what I was doing if I was like doing stuff in between and I forgot about it um, but so pretty much I let that simmer strain it and then drink it and um, since it's very very astringent meaning it feels like you get really dehydrated while drinking this you want to make sure to drink another cup of water if not maybe two cups of water while you're drinking this tea um, so I did that my last two weeks I did like the whole handful thing um, but if you are doing this from the beginning of your pregnancy, I would just do a little pinch twice a day and you're good morning and night and try to be consistent with it. Um, so um, what Red Raspberry Leaf does, it really, I mean, like I said, it's really, really well known for women's reproductive health. But one of the main things, it does tone the uterus. So I don't know if you guys have like been to birth classes or if you guys have done the little like exercise where you grab like a balloon and then you put a ping pong ball inside of the balloon you blow it up and then the ping pong ball sits in the opening and you try to squeeze the balloon out so the ping pong ball like slowly comes out and they're kind of mimicking like this is what your uterus does while you're giving birth um and you're like contracting um well what red raspberry leaf does it helps to tone that muscle that contracts um, and helps to push the baby out. So I do believe like I had a pretty easy labor because of the red raspberry leaf. Um, because it, I feel like for me to have pushed the baby out um, within four and a half hours of my water breaking, then my uterus must have been like, <laughs> like very like ready for this contraction um, process. Um, so. And then um, also, it's believed that red raspberry leaf um, does help prevent tears. Um, my herbalist teacher, she says she's recommended, um, she's um, suggested red raspberry leaf tea to a lot of pregnant women, and the ones that actually stayed consistent with the red raspberry leaf um, didn't tear. But the ones that kind of slacked off and didn't drink their tea, they they teared and they needed stitches. Um, I had a first degree tear. Um, so it is possible to be a little slacker and to like power through the red raspberry leaf towards the end but I did do have a first degree tear um, and what that is pretty much like the 
the vagina wall like does a little it stretches um, a little to where there's a little graze type of thing um, but it's nothing that requires stitches which I was very happy for um, so right okay so I'm sure like if you guys look up WebMD um, it says do not drink red raspberry leaf because it causes miscarriage or whatever okay any or if you search on webmd or whatever type of fucking medical website they're gonna tell you don't drink it because there's not been enough studies on it because like all our doctors like all our studies are on herbs all our studies like all medical studies really are revolving around allopathic medicine and even then like the studies that around allopathic medicine like I'm not even gonna get into that right now but pretty much there has been like no nothing on red raspberry leaf as far as studies from a doctor um other than like a woman's personal experience um so i'm telling you that's my personal experience i did this like all the time and it did not cause a miscarriage and this is coming from a girl that's had two miscarriages before my baby so i'm gonna say that this is pretty safe for that um so, um, that's what I did. I got it on Amazon. I think this was probably, for a pound, it was about $12, I want to say, 15 something like that. Um, but, um, you do need to get the pound, um, and you want to make sure this pound is done by the time your pregnancy ends. Um, mine isn't done because I've powered through it the last bit of my pregnancy. But, um, it's halfway done. It's about a half pound. Um. So yeah, I just wanted to share that guys, that little information with you guys. Um, I do know there's like a lot of pregnant women now, and it's very beautiful. All the rainbow children are like coming down to the earth. Um, I have a lot of friends that are pregnant, so maybe this will help you guys um, to have like a really easy pregnancy, probably easy labor, hopefully. And yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Much love, namaste, and.